All right, happy Friday to you. We are back with the toys. I hope you had a fun Star Wars day yesterday, but here we are back with the toys, the toys that go out. And if we remember, Lumpy was really excited because he wanted to be one of the important stuffies that slept on the little girl's bed. But once he got up there, he realized he didn't really like it very much. He was bored. He liked to stay up late and play marbles and checkers and games. And that's not what happened in the big bed. Because in the big bed, all the stuffies just went to sleep. So Lumpy decides he's going to jump off the bed. And so he does that. And he hurts his bottom a little bit on the way down. And then he's happy because he's back on the floor where he belongs. But we're going to read and find out if he gets to stay there. Every night after that, the little girl takes Lumpy to bed with her. Lumpy feels he's got it made. All the importance and extra kisses of going to sleep on the high bed, and none of the boringness. He just waits until the girl is asleep, then hops down, bonk, and lives it up until midnight, when he, very cleverly, positions himself just below the edge of the bed so it looks like he fell off by mistake and goes to sleep till morning. Stingray feels this behavior is disrespectful. It's an honor to sleep on the high bed, she complains. You're not taking it seriously. She, Lumpy, and Plastic are watching cartoons in the living room while the little girl's at school. I'm not sleepy at eight, Lumpy says, when the show goes to commercial. Fine then, says Stingray. Don't get up on the bed. Well, it's not like I have a choice now. Lumpy is smug. The little girl takes me. She wants me, I guess, because of how much she loves me. When it's bedtime, explains Stingray, you're supposed to get in bed and stay there until morning. Why? Because people bigger than you want to, pipes up plastic, that's why. Who knows the difference, Lumpy asks. The little girl doesn't know I'm hopping down. I know, says Stingray, and I don't like it. What she doesn't know won't hurt her, and I'm not sleepy at eight. Lumpy goes back to watching the cartoon. Do you think your toys have these kind of discussions when you're not around? But the little girl is no dummy. She notices Lumpy on the floor each morning by the side of the bed. One night she gets a length of shiny green ribbon and ties it to his tail. She ties the other end to her bedpost. You won't fall out now, sweetie buffalo, she says, kissing his head an extra time to make up for all the bumps he must have suffered in his falls. Stingray, look at my tail, whispers Lumpy when the lights go out and the girl is asleep. Take the ribbon off. No. Why not? The girl wants you to have that ribbon. She goes to school. She knows what's best for you. I know what's best for me, says Lumpy, and this ribbon is not it. Stingray wrinkles her nose. Oh, you got covered with peanut butter, and then you got covered with jam, and then cookie batter, and hummus, and soy sauce. You're always getting dirty. How is that someone who knows what's best? I am older now, says Lumpy. He walks to the edge of the bed, stretching the ribbon tightly. He leans forward and feels the pull of his tail. Stingray, help me, he cries. I'm tied up like a balloon. You wouldn't be if you stayed where you belong. My tail is killing me, says Lumpy, lying. I need to get down. Be quiet or you'll wake the little girl. Stingray flips over and closes her eyes. Being tied up makes Lumpy feel frantic. The knots in the ribbon get tighter and tighter the more he pulls. He tugs harder and harder, grunting his buffalo grunts, and finally jumps off the edge of the bed with the ribbon still attached to his tail. There is no bonk. Lumpy is upside down, tail side up, hanging in the air. He feels sick to his stomach. He tries to scramble back up on the side of the bed, but he can't get his feet turned around the right way. He wiggles and tries to lift his head up to chew on the ribbon, but his body is not very flexible. He is stuck. Lumpy, it is plastic rolling across the rug toward him. Why are you upside down? Untie me, cries Lumpy. No hands, says plastic. Pull me. No arms. Chew through the ribbon. No teeth, says plastic. It's not normal for a ball. What can you do? Bounce. Bounce me then, says Lumpy, please. Plastic rolls back to get a good start, and then she bounces herself hard at Lumpy, banging him against the side of the bed. Harder, cries Lumpy. Plastic bounces harder, and again, and a really hard bounce. There is a ripping sound. You're breaking the ribbon, cries Lumpy. Keep going. Plastic does another ripping sound. Again, again, I'm almost down. 
One more bounce, and Lumpy crashes to the ground. Bonk! He lands on his bottom just like before, only it feels different. It feels like something is missing. <gasps> Ugh, something is. Lumpy looks up at the unbroken ribbon dangling from the top of the high bed. Something short and chocolate brown and rather good looking is attached to it. Is, is that my tail? cries Lumpy. Um, says Plastic, it probably might be. I need it, I need it. Lumpy is in tears. There, there. What will I do without it? There, there. Oh, I need it very badly. Uh, what for? Plastic wants to know. Lumpy sniffs back his tears. He tries to think of an answer. You look tougher without it, says Plastic kindly, rolling around to examine Lumpy's bottom. Really? None of the tough buffaloes have tails, lies Plastic. I read it in the animal book. They don't? It's the tough buffalo fashion. Lumpy thinks for a minute. Well, who needs a tail anyway, he sniffs. I don't, says Plastic. Well, I don't either then, says Lumpy bravely. About an hour later, while Lumpy is showing his tail sunk to Tuck Tuck in the bathroom, Plastic hears a noise from on top of the high bed. It sounds like whispering. It sounds like Stingray. It sounds an awful lot like a submarine message. Lumpy was on the floor. Lumpy was on the floor. The next day, the little girl wraps Lumpy's bottom in toilet paper and masking tape to help it feel better. But she does not take him to bed with her that night. In fact, she never takes him to bed again. Lumpy doesn't mind, though. He is a leapfrogging and laughing and listening to Tuck Tuck explain about hand lotion, hand lotion and dental floss. He is staying up late. After all, he's not sleepy at eight. So Lumpy has decided that the great big bed isn't so great after all. All right, so tomorrow, well, huh. guys, I'm just trying to turn the page. Tomorrow, or Monday, we'll start, wait, tomorrow? Monday, Thursday, gosh, what am I thinking? Thursday, tomorrow, we'll start chapter six. It is difficult to find the right birthday present. All right, guys, have a great day, and I will see you.